Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to rename a column in all tables in MySQL database. So in last video, what we did, we showed you how to add a column to all the tables in the MySQL database. But here we are renaming. So think about a scenario where you have a lot of database, so where you have a database and a lot of tables and the one of the column is totally named wrong or you would like to rename it. So I in this case uh, we have created data instead of created data you would like to call it uh, insert data so this is present in all the tables so if you go to customer one you can see it's right there as well okay now you can uh, uh, write the alter statement and the uh, rename column for each of the table but i have a script uh, that can help you to generate those uh, scripts uh, so first of all uh, here we have at the rate database name that's uh, uh, our variable provide the database name in my case is going to be tech process it then uh, this is the statement uh, part of it uh, so at the rate column name uh, where you are going to write this statement so rename column and then uh, you will provide the existing column name um, that's a current uh, column name in our table um, in uh, in my case it's a uh, created data and then uh, you will provide the name of the column that you wanted to uh, uh, have so from uh, this old to the new one okay uh, and uh, here I have select statement and uh, I'm just altering table providing that table name and uh, this uh, part of the statement will go there and uh, we will build these uh, queries um, the list of the tables coming from the information schema dot tables uh, and uh, for database uh, only tech browsers it you can always enhance this script whatever you want uh, let's say in the very class you want to select maybe only uh, 10 tables or 20 tables so you can always filter those uh, let's uh, execute this statement and the script is uh, created uh, it is just uh, an idea how you can build the script uh, on the fly for all the objects instead of writing for each of them. But it's your uh, uh, effort now. Um, if you wanted to enhance, you can, you know. Okay, so alter table, customer one, rename uh, column and create a date to this. So now we go ahead and run this. All the statements are completed. And uh, here we are going to go ahead and refresh Tech Brothers. Uh, go to the customer table and take a look so you can see that now we have insert dt instead of a created data all right so i hope this video will help and this is a small piece of code will kind of lead you to writing more complex codes to make the things more dynamic for you and so you don't have to write the statements for each of the table where you will build the statements depending on these scenarios thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in next video